Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching videos every single video. In today's video, we're talking about how to survive, how to slay out in solos, and more specifically, we find someone who is using the pinwheel rotation almost to a T. It is a lot of fun to watch and kind of fun to see if the pinwheel rotation is still viable in 2021. So what you're going to see is me rolling through in solos playing my own game out explaining how i'm going through gunfights and then watching other players critiquing their gameplay how they could play differently how they could play better and some things that i'm learning along the way if you guys enjoy this style of video please do me a favor and drop a like on the channel it's still a new channel so every little bit helps comment on what you want me to see and cover next and most importantly follow me over on twitch to catch this sort of gameplay live see y'all in the next one enjoy Take a moment, learn, talk about other people's mistakes. Maybe I get killed by an absolute demon. Maybe I kill by an absolute bot. Break down gameplay, what they could be doing, what they could be doing better, and uh, try to learn from it. Rolling in, we've got gunshots on the back side of Superstore Storm on our radar. We also had these doors open to our left, the front doors. RP sensor and super, that's a cheat code. Well done. Just barely. Oh, fine. I have to kill on that guy. I'm going to try to check the heartbeat and just push this as quick as I can. He's up top. I pulled to break his ankles out from under him. Oh, I was trying to shoot. What I was trying to do there was I was trying to shoot the glass that he was on. So that way he would have fallen through. And if he fell through, like he was 100% dead. I'm going to pop dead silence preemptively. Get a little bit of info with the heartbeat sensor. He's still going to be up and to the left, but he's most likely going to be off to the left, like trying to look through the windows. Yep, he is. I'm not going to shoot him because he's got a really nice head glitch. He can hold on me, but I'm going to ping for that info. And notice how that entire time I was just waiting to take the shot until I knew that he was out of cover long enough that I could get the kill. A lot of patience, but at any point if I would have shot earlier, he could have held this head glitch on me. He could have held that radiator on me or that uh, air conditioning unit on me. I was just trying to play patient there. 30 meters to my left. Possibly stairs or ladder. he's here that means he's most likely in the office he is so yeah he's he's probably holding this office window office door so i'm going to chow aggressively nice. i was basically able to like determine where he was because if he was here he could have been all the way down but just seeing that i had to like turn around to get my heartbeat right here i kind of knew he wrapped back in through here Seventeen thousand dollars. Stringer, I got the ten months, man. Elijah, welcome back with the eight months. Enemy UAV, okay. uh, there. I don't like the factory buy, man. So many people camping. That's like the only buy. So we gotta expect that there are gonna be people there because of the limited buy options. You got one little ping right there, possibly an airstrike ping. You shouldn't be getting an unsuppressed weapon ping. Oh yeah, dead bodies over here. Not immediately going for the buy, checking the heartbeat sensor. Friendly loadout drop on the way. And we're gonna try a FFAR build today. If you're looking through the numbers, statistically the FFAR is one of the best, uh, like fastest killing ARs in the game. I think it actually is technically the fastest killing AR in the game. Uh means it can be a great sniper support. Not great at long range, it shakes too much. But uh, especially with aim assist, it sticks really, really well on targets. Uh, it can be a fantastic sniper support. Uh, Gypsy Pickle, thank you. Likes, thank you for the eight months. And now we're just kind of playing for info. That's the info we needed. Gunfights in here.
Uh oh. Little concerning that there's a sniper up on the hill. He didn't hit me, so he may not be doing the thing, but there is a possibility. Oh, Daddy. No. Dang. So, my goal right there was basically just to try to, like, get outside. Wait, I got desynced. Holy. Seems like you're the happiest you're you've up, been uh, in a while is what you've been saying. Around. Killing the business, killing the stream. Killing the fitness, you're looking pretty jacked, but that's, that's nothing new. Thank you for the host, man. Really appreciate you sharing your community. So yeah, in that gunfight there, right, I definitely overexposed myself when I was shooting that guy on the hill. Um, ended up getting shot in the back by this guy. Fine, right? I knew where I can just cut in, cut inside that building and get my cover. Then I get dead silence pushed. And basically, as I'm like trying to finesse there on the on the dead silence pushes, I'm trying to buy enough time that I can either plate or catch him overextending. And I'm just going to like swing for an ego chow. Unfortunately, he gets me right when I'm trying to get to that piece of cover. And uh, no dice. And I was crawling outside during the self revive, hoping that like this guy from the hangar would have shot him or he would have gotten sniped. But uh, no dice either way there. I think I heard my FFAR. Oh. Alright. Oh, three people? Friendly loadout drop on the way. Enemy UAV overhead. Safe zone. Holy. We lost that one, but we Only bad thing the about the time. FFAR, and I say it as I get gunned by it, is it's got really bad sprint to fire speed compared to the other, all the other SMGs. And I end up getting absolutely smoked because of it. I think I also jumped child there instead of slide canceling, which would definitely would have been a better child. All right, so here we are, spectating Mr. Big Koi. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into a little spectating solos, talking about, obviously, what he can do, what he can do better, and uh, break down what I could have done better there. So, the reason why I went through and, and Simtex, that right there, was I wanted to see... Oh, no, my man's taking way too long to loot. He was looking at my diamond FFAR and got gunned. Um was I heard that reloading and I figured he was up top but then I really just I had a lazy chow up here like I I should not have chowed like I did I could have I could have played that corner much more aggressively slide cancel anticipating someone but I kind of just like tax sprinted all the way around the corner that was a really really bad challenge on my part but moving over to a Brazi clearly a pretty good player slide canceling using cover well he's got four kills to his name already He's got the Grav, though. He could pick up one of my guns, but he... When are they going to remove the combat bow from the game, ladies and gentlemen? Anybody know? I'm down, Slater. I am. Yeah. Well played. Well played. Best gun in the game. Absolute best gun in the game, you know? Alright, so he's got... Five kills. We can clearly see by his movement. He's a little bit more of an aggressive player. He's got his loadout over there. He's got 13k to his name. So he could get self-revive, UAV, UAV. Ops for O. Double AR... Double time and amp. Amac Rao. Get one on UAV. No, he's always moving around, so that way he's not standing still for too long. 
He seems like a pretty good player, but his class is terrible. Yeah, I was I was expecting a demon. I mean, like, he's got the YY cancels. He's got the he's got the you know he's got the slide cancels. Got the movement. But we'll see. We'll see how he keeps playing out these gunfights. Ends up getting a lucky spot on that guy right there. Notice what he does right there is he's like, he, he really didn't need to wait, but he was holding until that guy got out into that open piece of transition. Exactly like we were talking about with the guy on top of Superstore. If you shoot too early to where they can duck back and get behind cover, now all of a sudden it's going to be a real pain in the butt to take that fight because they're going to be pre-aiming you. They're going to be Simtech spamming you, right? So you're just wanting to get as much done as you can um, and guarantee that kill. Requesting Pop the UAV, recon. pick back up his combat bow. He's got a full gas mask. He's one guy out in front of him. I would go ahead and loot the crate next to him and pick up the bounty. There's no reason why he doesn't pick up the bounty. It's just more economy. He's clearly an aggressive player. He does a nice job. Like, I don't like how much I see him crouching around. However, the big difference is, although he may be crouching around, he doesn't... Um crouch around through moments of transition so we'll play slow we'll play slow and then when he's in between those moments of transition he is full sprinting through as you should rip the train r.i.p son of a gun we are all focusing on this no worries pops dead silence he knows the guy is in the second story floor based off of his uav right so off the uav you would see an arrow up or an arrow down based off his location he's expecting the guy to be on the second floor here's him jump down Ooh. Gets the kill, ducks back into cover for a little bit, gets, puts himself a little bit close to the gas. That's fine. Crouch, there you go. Oh, here's more footsteps. Gets the information, and if I were him, I would swing. Nice. I need close air support on this time. <laughs> He, he uses all the kill streaks, but he doesn't want to get rid of his. He doesn't want to get rid of his combat bow. Seems like a really solid player. He's level seven, so my guess would be is he's coming back to Warzone to prepare for Vanguard. Nothing he's doing so far looks suspicious. Doesn't look like he's cheating or anything. But my guess, based off the loadout, based off his gun skill, he's probably someone that got sick of Warzone and is coming back in preparation for Warzone. Yeah, his cluster, he didn't hit someone, but hit a vehicle. You saw the, the X go red. As you can see, I, intentional or not, he's kind of going through like a pinwheel rotation with all of these. Checking the edges of the zone. And he's looking for people that are getting forced out by the zone. So he's looking off to his right the entire time he's rotating. He's jumping, scanning, jumping, scanning, and just looking for everyone from train station and promenade that's going to be forced out. He's not super focused on up here, right? He's keeping it in his cross check, but he's focusing on the lower right, checking it with his heartbeats, because that's where he's expecting players to get pushed out. I would say sus. Yeah, well, someone in chat said sus, but I mean, he's got Damascus. Granted, you could unlock all, but no one's going to unlock all and then use we weapons from, you know over a year ago so he's probably just uh he's probably just an og player that's coming back it's a really nice job here man look look at his intentional rotations every time he's running he's just checking off to these side buildings when he gets near built up like vertical buildings he like ends up checking his heartbeat just to see who's kind of close every time he makes a rotation it's always towards the next piece of cover so he cuts towards the tree now he cuts towards the building like super smart player great rotations already got eight kills if I were him, I would probably start working towards like dealership and looking for all the rotations out or school. School could be a fantastic hold right now, but you got to be careful of all these high grounds. I want to watch this guy play through the end. He's like using panel rotation like to a T. Taking high ground. I don't like the idea of him crouching though. Like there, there's a sniper. He didn't see the glint. There's a sniper right there and he's crouching around. Thank goodness he killed the, the riot shield guy, but just on the lower right, just right there. Yep. Right there is a sniper. Mm, he flinches the sniper with the growl so he doesn't get headshot sniped. If you're going to chow this guy, he spotted one guy behind the bus. If you're going to chow this guy, you want to make sure you're limiting your exposure to that potential sniper. He spots the sniper again.
Notice, and like we talked about with John, we were reviewing John's video. He's not pinwheel rotation with his ass on the gas. He is he is giving himself a little bit of time. That that skin is beautiful, chat. But you stick out like a sore thumb. That flowing blue skeleton, you stick out so bad, man. This I don't do that. Don't do that. If you're gonna heartbeat out in the open, you should be like bee hopping or something. He literally just stopped. He could have gotten beamed. Nice job rotating in. If I were him, I would mark this. Right? He's got a most wanted right next to him. You mark that so that way you can see the pop-up on your screen. But right now, he's focused on the holds. He knows that most wanted is below him because you can see the below arrow. So you can focus on getting holds coming out of the gas. Once he feels that his back is clear, he most likely will clear that uh, most wanted out. But the most wanted now is on his level. He can peek him. He's on that left balcony right now. He has an angle on him if he wanted to swing out and get him. So for me, it seems like this guy has really high game sense, but he doesn't have walls. Because if he had walls, he would definitely know that he could he could get a shot on that guy right now. It is now lower, so he's working his way through the front door. The most wanted. Now the most wanted is rotating out. I don't know why he's so focused on what's behind him. He has no audio cues. The most wanted is rotating out. So now you know basically all of this area is clear. You can use that most wanted as information that you can most likely rotate all the way through here clear. So if I'm him and I have the opportunity, I'm going to rotate early. Most wanted just disappeared, so most wanted either died um, or finished. But I think it was a, I think it was a recent pickup for the most wanted. Still being very deliberate. The guy's a controller player. You could tell by that that turn how smooth that turn was. He's definitely a controller player. Buy a UAV, pop it, pick back up your crutch bow. I mean, combat bow. Very intentional rotation across the street towards your next piece of cover. My focus here isn't so much what's in front of me. It's who's getting pushed out. Yes. Way to check your back. Checking out behind it. Intentional or not, this guy is like pinwheeled. Like to a T. This is a very tough rotation to make, so he's just basically going to be beelining towards the next piece of cover. Yeah. There. I don't like that. You can chat. You can chow it right here, but don't chow it out in the middle of the open. Pulling out that heartbeat for information. I think he heard a footstep. There, there might be a guy ghosted. I think I heard a footstep. The way he chowed that was terrible, though. When you're chowing those stairs, he went all the way up to the top and then turned. When you're chowing those stairs, you want to look up and just, like, barely poke your head over that railing to see who's there because people love to camp. He way overexposed himself. If there was someone up there, he would have died. Gotta be careful. He hasn't cleared out up top. He could clear out top with a, with a thermite and just get, like, hit marker information. But he doesn't really have too much reason to... I believe there's someone up there. No broken windows, no sound cues. It's the UAV. It's up the crutch bow. Really nice information there, but he's got to be careful. If he tunnel visions on this guy on the lower right, there's a very high possibility that he's going to get shot from the top left. It's almost like I, I play this game way too much. It's downed by the guy up top. He's able to get a couple plates off, but if I'm him, I'm cutting hard left into the guy at the building. <coughs> mm, yeah, he's, he's probably going to die in the vault. Yeah. So what I would have done there if I'm him, right? I get down and I'm right here. My goal is just going to be chowling straight forward to this building. Two reasons. One, as I'm chowling straight forward, I'm cutting off this guy's angle on me so he can't see me, right? And if he does challenge me, I'm already looking at the building so I can just turn up and put pop shots at him. What he opts to do is run all the way down here, and he kind of hesitated, did a little S, and that costed him. You have to vault over, which is going to take time, and as you're running, you don't see the person that's challenging you. If you chow straight at him and make it to where he has to jump over the top of the ledge to shoot down at you, he overexposes himself, and you can just slide cancel and gun him. So now we move on to Pop Champagne. The Gulag is closed, so unfortunately, Abrazi uh, took the L. Maybe, maybe he got in before the gulag closed. I didn't see. But he he misplayed by tunnel visioning the guy on his right. The guy on the right got his uh got his loadout, got ghosted. 
He chowed him and uh, unfortunately didn't make it. Pop Champagne, though, 12 kills to uh, 12 players left, four kills to his name. Using a Bullfrog. Looks like Bullfrog, no barrel, 65, Grew Suppressor, Grip Tape. My footsteps. Only turn a left. So, what you can probably deduce right here. Is based off of that truck. There's, you know, probably going to be someone in the area. Maybe those footsteps were above him. But where he was holding was just terrible. He's exposing himself to two lines of sight at once. And even if it's just a matter of, like, milliseconds. And you're not challenging a demon, but you're just challenging, you know, a regular player. The fact that they have peeker's advantage, even if it's a super slow peeker's advantage, it's going to cost you. When you're in those situations and you know someone's super close, and you don't have dead silence, and you don't have something crazy overpowered like a like a shotgun or stopping power, you need to be the one that's peeking corners so you get peeker's advantage. What is the importance of slide canceling? Uh, a few things. One, slide canceling resets your tactical sprint, so it allows you to tactical sprint even more and more, um, so you can get places faster. But more importantly, what people don't realize is slide canceling takes you out of a tax sprint. You're sprinting, you're moving crazy fast, crazy fast, slide, and while you're sliding, your aim down sight is slower. But the second that you slide again, you have now entered a crouched state. And when you are in a crouched state, your aim down sight takes less time. So when you slide, your aim down sight is long. When you slide, you are now crouched. And when you jump, you are now standing. So now you are standing. You have base, aim down sight, because you're no longer sprinting or sliding. And on top of that, you're now standing so you can strafe even faster than if you were just to slide, slide, and crouch straight. So this guy didn't take a shot, got a little bit nervous. Opts to use his gas mask. I would be running out with his with his max in, which is what he does. Makes a good rotation. Decides he doesn't want to ego the guy at the bathroom. But now actually he has a hold on the guy at the bathroom because of the zone rotation. But he has to be very, very careful because of these lower left is highly exposed. Spots the guy right there. He goes down. Notice how the, the loot didn't just like bring, pop up. That means he's still alive. He does not spot the guy on the top left balcony of restaurant. There's a guy right up there. I'm pointing at the... Oh my God! Ripped his head off. There is a guy sitting right here on this balcony that he did not see. Really nice rotation, though, out of him. This guy has five kills. Looking at T or Tward. Five, five, five. Spots the guy right there. He has him held. Target oh, no! The crutch bow! Gets undercover. Play it up, brother. Play it up. Play it up! So I don't like this guy's loadout. He, whether it's his loadout or not, he has two long range weapons. He has an EM2 and he has a, uh, I think a Swiss. So it's a 1v1 situation. I frankly would just, yeah, I would, I would go for my loadout. You can use your loadout as, as a head glitch, but the zone's on his back. He needs to act fast. Quickly switch to the other one. Yep. Great rotation for cover, but really, really odd choice of weapons. Play it up. Nice job. Get all plates in. Good job. You have dead silence. Guy's using a Krig with a fast mag and a Susat multi-zoom. And I don't even know what type of stock. But like a crazy slow aim down sight. And the Krig does not hit like it used to. Please do not blow yourself up. You have dead silence. Use it to your advantage. You have a full gas mask. Pop that dead silence. Go up the stairs. But instead, he opts. No. To hold the angle. This guy takes a really smart rotation. And I could already tell he's a demon. I'm curious. John, put up there how many kills that guy got. The ant guy. You can just look at the lobby stats. I was about to say, I saw a dark matter. Uh, MG82. He's got a dark matter. OTS. Guy's a really solid player. That was a nice game. Dude, I wanted to see that other guy win, man. He just got tunnel vision. He was pinwheel rotation perfect. Oh, it was so cool to watch.